just a couple of quick things. John Hine described his uh, usual routine at the McDonald's drive through I thought that was Pizza particularly high. entertaining. I do not pull away until I open the bag, inspect the burger, make sure that there's no cheese on it, and then I go. And if there is cheese on it, I hand it right back. John also told us that he would love to run a McDonald's one day. That led to Gary revealing on the wrap-up show that he was very, very close to opening a vinyl pop-up store in Connecticut. <clears throat> What's going to be in the vinyl pop-up store? His vinyl? I don't fucking know what he's doing. <laughs> I was very, very close to opening up a pop-up record store. I found a record distributor down in Florida. I found a guy that makes turntables. I found a speaker company. I had it all going on. And then uh, at the last second, I was like, you know, Mary was going to run it. And I was like, I don't know. It just seemed like a lot. Of, I, I see what I mean, though? You see what I mean when I, why I get irritated when I hear this shit? Don't you think producing the Howard Stern show would keep you so busy that right. you couldn't even yeah. think straight. Gary says, quote, I was contacting vendors. Yeah, what, I spoke what? to the record guy who does the wrap-up show. That was literally the vendor I contacted. <laughs> There's a guy who does a wrap-up show on Record Store Day, and he goes, yeah, I can get your record. I don't <laughs> fantasize about another job. You know why? I'm so fucking busy with this one, I've turned down everything else. If someone said to you, you want to start a vinyl pop so you should say, even if it's your own brain telling you, saying, hey, you should start a vinyl pop so you should go, brain, you're out of your mind. <laughs> well, I did get there. In all fairness, I did get there. It just took me a little longer than usual. Took you longer, but I got yeah. there, believe me. It take you so long. I would never open up a vinyl shop because that would only get in the way of my napping. <laughs> I want to call like the executive producer of the Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show or the executive producer of Jimmy Kimmel's show and say, excuse and me. And ask him you, about their side businesses? Yeah, do you guys have side business? <laughs> well, I don't. He, I mean, that's all point. Yeah, I, don't I know you don't. I wasn't, and I thought about it. I gave it some. How many? Thought. How many? How many? How, how how many hours a day would you think you would have worked at the uh, record store? I wouldn't have worked there at all. I would have farmed it out. I was going to have Mary run it. That was the whole point. I was going to. Oh, I wasn't oh, going to work see. there at all. Man, lucky uh, Mary. <laughs> Mary, what I do with the Howard Stern show, I delegate. By the way, Delabate is Italian for delegate. <laughs> what did you need to do to break even? Did you figure all that out? Get your meatloaf album half off. I literally didn't. Sure. I mean, I got far enough, but I didn't get far enough to like, you know, I didn't get, find a space or I didn't, you know, figure out how much it was going to, how much I was going to make or anything. It just seemed like a fun idea till it wasn't. Yep. Buy Steely like Dan's it. Asia, get a Kaja Google free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you this. So Stephen Colbert's executive producer just opened up a pop-up store. I think he sells yo-yos. <laughs>